please welcome the incredible Kelly Marie Tran. a huge fan of you. Well, and so we are I... all huge <laughs> fans of yours, and we're so happy that you're here and you're in the oh. studio. How do you feel? Are you, are you feeling happy to be dressed and out of the house? I feel so happy. I was seriously walking up these stairs. I was like, when's the last time I wore heels? I'm like, I gotta get used to this again. It's been like a full year, I yeah, think. Yeah, you've got to teach yourself to walk again. Yeah. That's the yeah. thing. <laughs> well, we're so thrilled that you're here. We really are, because you have had the most amazing few years, career-wise. And now you're in this huge Disney movie, which people are absolutely loving. And I, am I right? You've been obsessed with Disney since you were a child, right? How, how deep is this obsession? Oh, it is embarrassing. Go on. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's bad. I mean, my, so my childhood bedroom is still completely intact at, at my parents' house. So, um, yeah, basically, you walk into my bedroom first. The first thing you see is a star on the, on the door that says dressing room. So that gives you a little wow. info about okay. who I was as yeah, a kid. I get it. Yeah, yeah. You walk in, there's all of these posters of uh, musicals that I did as a child, like 42nd Street, Guys and Dolls. And then you see my twin bed, which I still to this day, when I visit my parents, I'm still sleeping in this twin bed. Mm. Little Mermaid bed sheets, still there. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it goes, it goes real deep. And there's more. I could go on. I could go on. <laughs> and look at you now. I mean, your parents must be, they must be so proud of you. Were they always on board with this as a, a career choice? Oh, man. Um, I'm, they're going to watch this, so I need to be careful about what I say here. <laughs> um, my parents are wonderful, and I love them so much. But they, uh, you know, they're both from Vietnam. They're, they're boat refugees. So they really, like, all of this stuff is just so impossible to them so i sure. think yeah i think as a kid they just sort of thought i was crazy and i think they still kind of think i'm a little bit crazy yeah <laughs> yeah yeah but when you first started sort of booking jobs and things because i can remember when i first got my jobs my, yeah. my parents they didn't even really think that jobs existed i yeah. just go to auditions and then not get them i never never occurred to me that i would ever get anything are they they must be thrilled with what's happening in your life now yeah, I, I think they're they're absolutely proud of what I'm doing, and and I feel uh, really grateful to have sort of been able to open their eyes to the possibility of this at all because yeah. it's just so far away for them. I mean, when you landed Star Wars, what did they say? Well, my dad hates anything sci-fi or fantasy. <laughs> good start. Good yeah, start. good start, right? Yep. Actually, so wow, <laughs> you, even if you get Star Wars, your dad's still annoyed. <laughs> that must. I mean, that's the. What does he want? What is it like? It's the biggest movie of all. Yes, I'm not really into sci-fi. Yeah. <laughs> so a friend of mine's a stand-up comedian, and his dad stopped going to see him about five tours ago. And he ended up saying to his dad, hey, Dad, are you going to come to the show? And his dad was like, yeah, it's not really my sort of thing. <laughs> and he didn't know if, he, if his dad meant comedy or him. Oh. <laughs> well, I have something to add to that. My parents didn't go to the episode nine premiere because they couldn't reschedule a dentist appointment. Oh my god! Like that's a, that, <laughs> it is a true story. My dad was like, Kelly, it's on. A, why is it on a Monday? I, I, I can't. You know how long it takes to schedule a cleaning? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, you know how many Star Wars premieres come around. <laughs> I mean, also, no one likes going to the dentist. I was like, I'd love to be there, but I've got this root canal and I've just been putting it off and putting it off. That is how little he likes sci-fi movies. He'd rather wow. be getting a cleaning at a dentist. But after Star Wars, you actually you traveled to Vietnam to visit, Vietnam to, to visit your parents' yeah. homeland. So what was that experience like? It was incredible. I, honestly, I, I had never been there before. Like, we grew up in a household where my parents were absolutely focused on always putting food on the table. We never went on vacation. They never bought new clothes for themselves. So to be able to finally be in a place where I could have the money to not just go to Vietnam myself, but to bring them back there was the first time they had been there for 40 years. So it was really emotional. I mean, we like, yeah, we like rode bikes out to my dad's little village where he lived and it was insane. And uh, let's congratulate you on Raya and the Last Dragon, which is getting the most incredible reviews. <laughs> People are going crazy for this film. I cannot wait to watch it with my kids. For anyone who hasn't caught it, uh, so what's it about and who you play? Yeah, it's so it is about a girl named Raya who is 
when we first meet her, you meet her in her younger years, and she sort of sees the world in a really ideal way. And then this sort of horrible, traumatic thing happens, and the world essentially breaks apart, and she starts to view the world from a place of distrust. And she can't, she feels like everything's dangerous. She doesn't want to make new friends. She won't even share food with people. Um, and then you go on this journey, and you, you kind of see how she's trying to find the goodness in the world again. Um, so yeah, it's, I, I get to play Raya both in her younger years and her older years, and it's been such a, it's a dream. Yeah. <laughs> you know, being a Disney kid, like I told you, and to now be a part of this is cuckoo bananas, for sure. <laughs> I think it's amazing. I think there's going to be a kid out there somewhere who's going to have, in their parents' house, they're going to have a, you know, <laughs> bedspread of Raya and the Last Dragon, and the whole thing's come full circle. I cannot wait to watch it.